Here's how you can have your very own white labeled ad tool as a standalone product hosted on your own custom domain. So clients can log into this domain and access your tool without the need for high level or anything else. They can just go to this own custom domain. There's going to be a login screen. How this works is that this is the domain that we're going to be using, but we always want to add a subdomain like ads. That's the most common one that we see just so it doesn't take over your main landing page. Um, whereas clients can always go to ads.marketingdigitaladvert.com or this is going to be your actual domain. This is just an example. But you always want to add ads or some sort of subdomain like ad center or something just so it, they can go to a subdomain on your main domain. So we're just going to tap update right here. And we'll see these uh, C name records that we need to add into our domain provider. So we'll come over here. Um, we're using Squarespace for this. So we'll come to the DNS settings on our domain provider. We'll just tap add record. We'll just do the host as ads. This will be a C name and the data, which is also the value is going to be secure.aiadvertservice.com and just tap save. So now this custom record was saved. Now, after we added this C name right here into our domain provider, this can work with any domain provider like we just did it with Squarespace. This can go live as soon as five minutes. So just try clicking this link to see if it's actually going live. And we can see this is live. You could always change this image on the right hand side. You could change your logo and your brand name as well as the language of everything right here. So this is what your clients will see after you send them the invite link. So this is kind of just testing the domain, but we can see that this is live now. Now what we'll do is we'll just tap publish. And we can see this is now published successfully. So this is the invite link that you'll send over to clients right here. So let's take a look at, at what happens here. So we'll copy this link. So this is the invite link you'll send over to clients. This is what they'll see because this is live online. We want them to generate a password here. So they'll never have to go to this invite link again, but this will help them generate their account uh, and everything right here. So when they sign up, they'll generate a password. We'll have their website and their business name to kind of just pre-fill some of the prompting parts inside of the platform. And they can also select their business type so you can automatically share ad templates with them as soon as they sign up right here. So this is how they will create an account. And then they'll be into your custom domain and into your ad tool. And then in the future, they can just go to your custom domain URL. They don't ever have to use this invite link again. Once they tap create account, you will see them as a workspace created underneath you. Workspaces will be created for you right here that you can easily just switch into. Here's an example of what that would look like. It's the same process for any of these other connections. So you can literally just tap switch. There'll be a switch icon. You can switch into their workspace and have almost like a God access mode into their accounts underneath your own custom domain. So there's some other global settings that you can set here. One thing that you might want to do also is that this is a free workspace we give you. So you might want to generate credentials for you as the admin view. You might want to do this because when you're demoing it, let's say you're sharing your entire screen, you can demo this as in the URL as ads.marketingdigitaladvert.com. So you really never have to go to whitelabel.play.io. You can just access your uh, domain and present everything as if this were under your own domain by generating your credentials right here. So this is like generating your admin credentials for your own custom domain. So you can always just demo it with the URL in the bar of this right here. There's some other settings that you can do. Like, let's say you want to, um, as soon as someone signs up, you only want to give them access to Facebook and Instagram, and you want to turn off these other platforms. You can do that to kind of adjust your pricing and everything. We will be bringing in a Stripe integration so you can help charge these clients. But right now, the best way to do it is to send them over like a monthly invoice and you can manage your clients, um, whether it's through QuickBooks or charge them whatever you want through Stripe, any sort of payment platform, just send them over a monthly invoice. And that's how you can manage the payments for them right here. There's some other settings right here that we go over in other videos, but that's essentially the overview of custom domain. If you want to update your custom domain at any time, you can just have update custom domain right here, and this would update the custom domain.